Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here and welcome back you guys to another Pokemon team builder. We are here for the third and final Scarlet and Violet team builder based around Quaquavel. Uh, quick disclaimer before we get this video underway, of course this is opinion based. If you want to change anything about these teams then go ahead and do so. We have already done Mouse Crider and Skeledurge, so there may be Pokemon on those teams that you want to see um, on this team, but they'll be on those teams. Uh, because we don't use duplicate typings, we don't use version exclusives, and I don't use the same Pokemon across the three teams. So, for example, if Salamence is on one team, he won't be on the other two, etc. etc. Um, but yes, let me know in the comment section below uh, your teams around Quaquavel, Mouse and Skeledurge yourselves. Uh, if you enjoyed the DLC, but most importantly as well, make sure you click that like button and subscribe because it really helps out the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this team builder. First member of the team, of course, is going to be our starter, which for this team builder is, of course, for Quavel. As we have said, the Fire Water starter. Very niche um, abilities this year. Um, I say abilities, I mean signature moves in terms of like, Skeledurge got plus one to special attack. Meow Scrider was always crit with Flower Trick, and Quavel gets a plus one speed boost whenever he uses his signature move Aqua Step, which is going to be our water type move along with Ice Spinner, Close Combat, and U-Turn. Close Combat being Stab Fighting, Ice Spinner for those Grass types, and U-Turn for the Nice Initiative. We've gone with the Adamant Nature, of course, because if we're going to be getting plus one speed from Aqua Step, we don't need to boost that already. Pretty decent 85 speed. Decent defenses across the board, nothing really to uh, speak quite fondly of, but again, average across the board. Nice base 120 physical attack, though means that once you get some few speed boosts up, you outspeed everything and you're going to be hitting it hard like a truck. Uh, base 120 uh, physical attack with adamant nature obviously the torrent ability as well so if you've got 130 of your hp left as well that aqua step's going to be doing even more damage alternatives for this hard hitical hard hitting physical water type move, uh, pokemon in azumarill and palafin and then a strong fighting type in pormot as well obviously quacks at level 16 quacks well at level 36 the standard evolutions for starters it's a great starter, all three of them this generation I think have got a really good chance of being some of the best starters we've had in a very long time. Just in terms of just their usage in in game, competitive, just I see them always ranking so highly just because again their signature moves do so much damage and help them out so much. Uh, it's a great Pokemon, it's a great starter, it is available. On to Pokemon number two and it wouldn't be a Super Salamence 93 team builder without the inclusion of one of my favorite in-game Pokemon of all time, Gardevoir. It is the meme across the channel, if you've been here a long time, of Gardevoir just wins, lol, because this thing just does relatively win you battles very easily. Uh, Psychic Fairy, Fairy is arguably the best type in the game, um, so having a Fairy type sometimes it is just a must because it deals with so many different things. Uh, Psychic's always nice to have as well. Psychic, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, your standard Gardevoir set as well. One car mind and it's pretty much game over, along with a timid nature just to boost that 8 speed to guarantee you're outspeeding everything. Get that plus one. If, you get, if you're against a special attacker, click car mind. Click car mind and then things will just start to drop. Um, alternatives, Espeon, hard hitting psychic type. Florgius, another uh, good specially defensive fairy type. And then obviously you can go the other way around and grab Gallade if you don't want to grab Garnivore. Um, synchronize ability, I prefer Synchronize over Trace, I just find Trace to be very niche and it's very specific in the battles that you do. Where Synchronize really stops, again, people trying to paralyze you, they're going to get paralyzed themselves, poisoned, so on and so forth. Um, great stats, like I say, it's three reds at the top, but they're not really ones that you overly worry about. Try not to get it by a physical move, but then especially defensively, this thing does an amazing job. And um, we're not worried about that physical attack anyway. So again, plus one car mine, you're not going to be dying to things on the special side and you're probably going to be killing them quickly anyway. It's a great Pokemon, rolls to Curlier at 20 and then Curlier to Gardevoir at 30. Very straightforward evolution as well. It's brilliant, we love it. It's our second team member, it's Gardevoir. On to Pokemon number three then you guys, and I'm going to butcher its name, Garganical. I didn't actually butcher its name. Garganical is our third team member, and I think I said this in the Skeledurge team builder, this thing is arguably one of the best new mons to be introduced, simply because of the moves, Salt Cure and Purifying Salt. This thing just tanks physical hits for absolute days, and some special uh, hits as well, because it's got base 90 special defense, base 100 HP, base 130 physical defense, it's a nice bulky mon to have on the team and we're going to need it trust me the rest of the team is very offensive um so we need that nice bit of bulk in there especially got the special side in gardevoir and one other and the physical side of uh, garganical um salt cure earthquake heavy slam hammer arm 
Soul Cure being a move like residual damage over time, you could run Stone Edge if you just want pure out damage, that's completely up to you. I liked Soul Cure, I felt like this being a, bulky, a bulkier Mon, you're using this thing to break Mons down a little bit more before you bring in a Sweeper. So I found that Soul Cure worked really well to then swap into something else to either set up or get that final blow. Alternatives, if you want a hard hitting, fast rock type, I'd go with a Lycan rock form, uh, either Dusk or uh, Normal. Uh, Colossal for a special rock type, um, running special rock type moves and fire as well. And then I've got to put my boy Clawth in there somewhere. I really wanted to put Clawth on one of these team builders. I, I very nearly put Clawth instead of uh, Garganical, but I thought that this thing is just it's too good not to do. And Clawth is kind of a meme, but he is he is one of my favorite ones to come out of that generation. And Purifying Salt um is a very unique ability to this thing ghost uh, ghost damage this pokemon dealt is halved by the offensive stat and you can't be statist as well so um you basically deal with ghost types with this thing as well um and you can't be status you can't be paralyzed you can't be poisoned you can't be put to sleep it's pretty pretty good ability um yeah this is a great mon i definitely recommend using it the mine minecraft cube as other people have called it uh, definitely give this thing a go if you haven't already. I think it will thoroughly surprise you. It's our third team member. It's got kind of fairy types, uh, brick break, again, other dark types, other ice types, steel types as well. You know, nice coverage all around. Um, during the nighttime, holding the Razor Claw is how you evolve Sneasel into Weavar. So, again, if you just need to change your daytime on your Switch, that's a quick way to do it. North Prominence uh, Area 1 is just one of the many areas you can find this. Alternatives, Most Bastiff um, as a physical dark type. Scum Tank as a special dark, dark, dark type. And then Bear Tick as a physical ice type with the pressure ability. Shame this thing doesn't get a, a, a better kind of ability. I'd like to see it get something like Tough Claws or something. I think that would have been really cool considering it's got literally Razor Claws. Um, but pressure, sure, why not? Um, like I say, we've already talked about the stats. It's a great mon. Ice type, really nice to have, especially with those dragon types running around, especially for the Elite Four as well. Uh, it's great. Please use Weavile. It's it's uh, it's our fourth team member. On to Pokemon number five, you guys, and we have Toad Scroll. It's counterpart Tentacruel. I've always said is one of the best in-game water types that you can have, and is severely underrated. So why not give Toad Scroll a go as well? Ground, Grass type, nice, uh, fun typing to have. Uh, tag tree thicket as well to find a um, not toad scroll toad school um, the pre level form evolves at level 30 so a nice simple evolution as well uh, energy ball earth power sludge bomb flash cannon nice special attacking moves to hit quite hard base 100 speed this thing does really well in terms of how well it moves base 120 special defense again we've got another mod that does really well on the specially defensive side given that modest nature to boost up the already decent 80 special attack to even higher its ability is kind of redundant in this sense because status moves go last in priority and ignore abilities. So you could run something like Toxic uh, or Thunder Wave or things like that that would just ignore abilities. And it goes last in the priority bracket, which I don't think you really want to do because you already base 100 speed. So I don't know. This thing's ability is just kind of redundant at this point. I, I didn't really feel like there was any use to it. Um, alternatives, you can go for Palosan as another special ground type. Gastrodon is another special ground type, and Scavillian as a special or physical grass type. Uh, grass fire being a very unique typing there as well. Uh, this thing's great. It's really fun to use. It's surprisingly quick. Hits surprisingly hard with a modest nature as well. Please give it a go. I feel like a lot of people haven't. It's a fun grass type to use. It is totally cool. On to the final Pokemon, and we had a hard-hitting physical fast uh, physical attacker. Let's go for a fast special attacker. We have got Salazzle as our final team member, our fire type for this team as well. Another Pokemon that I think is severely overlooked. You set up a nasty plot, if you're able to set up a nasty plot at any point, you're up against something that's not going to do much damage to you. This thing will just start to sweep. Sludge Bomb, Flame for our Dragon Pulse, nasty plot. It's a pretty standard moveset. Uh, I swore by this thing when we did our Sun and Moon team builders as being a really great mon, and I still stand by that. Uh, I think it's excellent. Evolves at level 33 as well. It needs to be female. For any of you new players that haven't used this thing before, for it to come saland it into Salazzle, you need a female saland it. Just keep that in mind. Uh, ability Corrosion, which means you can poison, uh, badly poison, regardless of typings. Any steel types, if you want to run Toxic on this thing early game, you can Toxic Steel types. Um, alternatives, Gengar, Fast Poison type uh, as well. Fast, uh, Special 
uh, fire type in Armor Rogue. Armor Rogue isn't actually that fast. Uh, but another special fire type in Armor Rogue. And then another special uh, overlooked poison type in Dragalge as well. This thing's overlooked. This thing's great. Um, I love its design as well. I've always uh, always liked its design. I've liked the scales down its back. I thought that's always been really cool. Um, and it just it does just hit really hard. Again, base 111 special attack with modest. Doesn't need a plus speed nature. So you're just going to be doing even more damage. It's a great Pokemon. Please give it a go if you haven't already. It's Pokemon number six. It's Salazzle. All right, then, you guys. So that's going to be it for our Kukwavel team builder. Let's go through that team one more time. We've got Kukwavel, Gardevoir, uh, Garganical, Weavile, Toadstool, and Salazzle. Please let me know in the comment section below what you thought and your team builders as well. With this being the final team builder for Scarlet and Violet, I need some suggestions. I've got a few ideas in mind, but it's nice to know and read your comments of what you guys want to see as well. So please do let me know in the comment section below what team builders you'd like to see, what you'd like to see me get put together. Um, I tend to reply to as many comments as humanly possible. Um, and if a team builder is possible, I'll probably say, sure, I'll look into this. And if I don't plan on doing a team builder like reimagining gold, silver and crystal, for example, I will let you know because I don't want to get your expectations up just by putting a comment and thinking it's going to be coming. But thank you so much for your support on these videos and me coming back to YouTube. I really greatly appreciate it. Uh, please keep that support coming because it goes an absolute long way. You can follow me on Twitter at supersalad 93 You can follow my Instagram, supersalad 93 as well. And you can join our Discord with the link used in the description as well. With that being said, I'm going to get out of here and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!